Hi, I'm Angie and yeah, last week I recorded a video about a chocolate design and really everything went wrong. And it cracked. Oh, I hate you. It um, ended up in a disaster. Like from making it until the editing and so I really don't know if I will ever publish this video and that's why we need to do something very, very easy, very, very simple today because I really don't want to screw up again. And that's why we are making a filling for our chocolate bonbons today. And I got the original recipe from Paul uh, Wegemaker. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, but he's a chef and a chocolatier from, uh, from the Netherlands. Yeah, so that's what we're going to make today. A whiskey filling for our chocolate. But let's talk booze for a second. So I'm going to use whiskey, but you can also exchange it with rum, tequila, uh, brandy, if you want to use dark chocolate. So those will fit very, very well. If you want to use gin or vodka, then I would recommend um, using white chocolate because the chocolate flavor is just not as strong and overpowering. So I've been using um, gin in a couple of recipes in the past with dark chocolate and you just can't taste anything from the gin. And so that's not the point of this. So yeah, that's just one I wanted to mention as well. And later I will also show you which molds I'm using and which colors I'm using. And um, yeah, I also have it in the description below. So let's do this. We're starting with heating up our sugar. So here I have 20 grams of sugar, 10 grams of glucose syrup here. And now I'm heating this up until it's completely dissolved. And then I let it cool down to 45 degrees Celsius and then I'm adding our whiskey. And I'm waiting until we hit 45 degrees Celsius before we add our um, whiskey um, because I want to make sure that the alcohol isn't evaporating. So I want this alcoholy taste in my chocolate bonbons and that's why um, yeah, we need to make sure that it's not going away. We have reached about 45 degrees Celsius, which means now I'm adding my liquor and I'm stirring it in to combine. I just had to heat it up for a quick second, like maybe 30 seconds or so, because the sugar didn't really want to dissolve into my alcohol, but now this is looking really, really good. And just keep stirring a little bit because here and there I can still see that it's not completely uh, dissolved, that our sugar hasn't completely dissolved. But I didn't let it boil or anything. It was just like a quick heat up. So yeah, we're still at around 40, 50 degrees Celsius. So now I have 110 grams of dark chocolate here and we give the sugar um, alcohol mix step by step into our chocolate and blend it really well with an immersion blender. So here we are. Um, make sure to give it all with your immersion blender. Um, you don't have any cream here um, to help you to um, yeah, create this emulsion. So yeah, give it your all with your immersion blender. And I think, yeah, we're already there. We can start um, filling our chocolate bonbons now. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm using those molds today. It is a 1926 and I will show you the color. So this is a gold I made. Um, here I'm using a green, green mermaid from Chef Rubber, a white that I made, um, and the peach luster from Chef Rubber. So those are the colors I've been using. That's how it looks like. I just saw that, oh no, my piping bag um, is cut open here. Oh, great. I'm not the biggest fan of piping either way. Now it's going to be even harder. Oh, yes, that's perfect. This piping bag is moving into the trash and I don't have to worry about cleaning. So if you overfill your molds, it's not a problem. You can easily remove it like with a spoon but then you really need to make sure that all of uh, the edges here are clean otherwise um, later the chocolate will not seal your bonbon so make sure that you clean it 
as good as you can if there's any filling on the outside. And here we go. Looking cute, I would say. Let's give them a try. Oh, let's try this one. The sweetness is perfect, I think. I was just expecting a little bit more oom from, from the whiskey. But otherwise, I think they're a really, really nice gift um, to give someone who really loves whiskey or whatever alcohol you might choose. So yeah, I think I will make them again, for sure. Maybe next time with brandy. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have questions, leave them down below. Um, you can send me a DM on Instagram at Chocolate Spiel. And if you're looking for tools, equipment, um, I have some links below as well in the description. Okay, that's all from me. Have a good one. Bye.